two or three weeks pussyfooting around squats and deads 225 for two separate sessions two weeks 275 two separate sessions one week one session 315 three by three so today we're not going to push it by any means but i'd like to get maybe 365 on a conventional pull for sets of five and squat 315 for three sets of five to eight uh, now we've got the belt squat also so maybe we'll hop on that thing get some extra volume all you silly bitches out there <laughs> that i helped in person i've helped on the internet i'd say 80 percent of you have the same mistake going on we got no tension in our hammies and our glutes right we want to get all the slack out when people hear pull the slack out of the bar what we're actually talking about is pull the slack out of our system out of our body uh, and we'll have the point of contact obviously being the floor and then the bar with my hands and in between there i need it stiff you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> Easiest way to set that up is, uh, for my opinion, kind of the top down. So we'll just bend over. Once you grab that bar, my hands may be loose, right? There's nothing going on. From here, I'm gonna teeter-totter my hips down, but even more so, once I get this rigid, imagine this being a straight line. Connor, maybe you can add in some dope effects. Imagine this being a straight line, and I'm gonna shove that straight line this way as one piece behind the bar, and that's how you push into your hips. From here to here, from here, to here, even there I feel a stretch in my hammy. And then the last piece is literally just getting heavy hands, getting that weight actually into your hands where you hear this noise. And that's happening by shifting my weight from here in front of the, I'm too far in front of the bar, I have no tension in my hamstrings. Now I'm gonna get behind the bar, tension in my hamstrings. Hips slightly lower in the shoulders, it's gonna look different depending on how you're built. What you guys are doing is just squatting down, grabbing this bar, now there's no tension anywhere. That's called weightlifting. That's what you're gonna set up for a clean and jerk. They're gonna get their knees out of the way first on purpose, and then they have the leverage to get back under the bar. We don't need to do that. We want it to be the straightest line, if not slightly back towards us, and the most efficient line. We need tension in the bar because under maximal loads, you won't be able to do it. What you wanna do by cranking on that bar, you're gonna tip forward and you're gonna miss off the ground. Weightlifting won't matter because those weights that they're clean and jerking are sub-maximal compared to their pull. So they'll still be able to muscle it through and get it to their knee where they want. But for us, we're dealing with max, max, max weights. You need that tension through the system, through the bar, body weight more behind the bar, so we can get that straight, straight line going. I'm hook gripping. Have you one of the cool kids now? Hashtag hipster powerlifting. Hashtag millennials. Give me a hell yeah. I just did a double over. I was just taking around with the hook grip. Making fun of millennials. I did double over three reps there and then I probably could have done it but sometimes if you're like testing your grip and I already have bad back sometimes you'll end up like this just worried about my grip so I'd rather be safe than sorry so I switched it up even though I don't really like being uneven and we're on a stiff bar for all you hipsters no straps for all you hipsters 365 times 5 challenge me who in the comments can beat that huh? oh. Three weeks I'll be stronger than Steffi Cohen. But for now, Steffi, you win. I'm pretty pain free. You know, everyone asked what I did to rehab or why I took weeks off or what the official diagnosis was. And I covered it a little bit in those q and but I don't have a fucking official diagnosis. Simple things I did. Tried to warm up better. Tried to change my form. Tried to reduce volume. 
tried to reduce frequency. None of those seemed to work. So then what I began to do is try to reduce the intensity to uh, a manageable load, meaning as light as I could go with no pain, um, and then continue a, a decent frequency to get practice in, see if I could build it back up. Didn't help. Um, so then, after chatting with experts and my own experience of me and my hip and back issues over the last 29 years on this planet, I knew that mentally and physically it's time for a break. Now how am I going to rebuild? Um, similar to what I first tried to do, which is go to a manageable load that did not hurt, start to build up some volume there, and then just linearly progress. I'm not going to linearly periodize all the way up to a new PR, but what I will be able to do is handle two to three days a week squatting and deadlifting at loads that don't hurt, get some work there, and then just slowly add weight every week or every other session. Um, and that's what I've been doing. And so far, so good.